So in here, I want to point out a couple of the signs that he's going to use in here. Chapter. It was in the last unit, chapter. Like list, but with the C, chapter. Um, it's hard to pick out some of the signs in here. Again, this guy signs sloppily. Uh, so um, take it slow uh, and try to piece together what he's read. Read the, read the paragraph. I mean, that's where you're going to get the information from. Um, he's going to point over there. We saw that in the previous chapter where we point to things for there. Uh, or, is it, or is it in this one? There may be a snapshot in this one. The videos. I just worked with it, so I can't remember if it was the previous one or this one. But we point. We've done it before we, where I say, man over there or my brother over there to establish who we're talking about. Or Um, so he's going to use that for, do you live over there? The city? So the next sign is city. It's like house, 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 city. Um, or you'll see people do this. It's also the sign for downtown. It's the populated part, the city part of the city, downtown. Um, country. So it's just sort of rubbing the, the elbow. I'm not sure why it's the sign. Uh, is it do you wear out the elbows or uh, is it like fall where the leaves gather? No, it's foreign. Um, then he at one point does this and it's he's doing that. It's various or variety. So it's like a and uh, etc. or uh, a miscellaneous miscellaneous. Um, and then the next thing he does is live live and sometimes people will bounce it. Um, it it's also the sign for address where you live don't do it with l's very english i'll throw things at you i live, I live there or i'll give you my address right cool so let's do the new vocab in the first uh, the rationale video uh, and we'll go through, there's types of housing, living arrangements, those are the vocab. There isn't much uh, in the way of grammar in this one. Um, we get to grammar more in, I think, ASL 2. I'm kind of surprised we don't have more in here. So the first snapshot is uh, using the word and. So uh, we don't usually sign this unless it's accidental. Most of the time in ASL, we will shift. There's one thing here, one thing here this and this. Um, the other way we can do it, and she plays, is doing a list of things, this and this and this and this. We don't need the and in between. So it's this and this and this and this and this. Um, and so the vocab she uses is few, few. Um, I've seen few be with three, few, and several being with five, but it's basically all the same sign, few. Like you've got a couple of things in your hand, you throw them. If you play D&D, &D, you're throwing in the dice, right? Um, she also signs things, going to buy things at the store. So it's object, object. Kind of makes sense. Um, food. And she does food store, grocery, food store. Could be clothing store. And then the three things she gets, boom, chicken. And again, it's just bird. You don't have to do this, the pecking. So chicken, ice cream, here's the cone, you're licking the cone, right? And apple. Um, you'll see apple being with either X or with just the S, not with an A, S or X. All right. So that's snapshot one. Here's snapshot two with there. Okay, so pointing towards things. We will set things up just the same way we did with people. So school over there house over there it just clarifies it because at any time you point there we know what you mean and he's going to be showing how to use that in a sentence and how to say i work there or i live there um the new the three vocab words that he does there's subject or topic it's like quotes air quotes topic subject title and then apartment apt remember one of those lexical signs apartment apt don't think about it, A-P-T. It's apt. It's very quick. And it literally is the sign for apartment. Not meant to be read. And then we do live again. Live there. And notice also how he repeats there to emphasize what he's talking about. 
So it's not just once, it, it happens sort of at the beginning when you mention it and then at the end to reinforce. Types of housing, she's going to go through a whole bunch of these, all of these different vocab. Um, really, apart from the vocab, these are pretty short chapters. Uh, phone, mobile home, let me get rid of this. There we go, got a little bit bigger. Um, I should pause, but you know, whatever. All right. So again, go through the, the vocab video. She'll explain all of these very clearly and repeatedly. Um, then living arrangements. We're going to have some vocab with that too, but these are pretty easy. Um, I rearranged the, the list a little bit, and I'm going to be doing that sometimes. So it may be different than the file you get from True ASL if they go through this. But live, right? Live, live with, live together, alone. It's just a small circle. Family, live with family, live with partner could be live with sweetheart, husband, wife, spouse. Um, all right. So all stuff we've done, again, this these chapters are shorter because we've covered so much of the stuff. Advantage, disadvantage, pros and cons. So we could talk about all of the, <clears throat> we could talk about all these different things. Um, uh, uh, shelter was the one I've always used. They may have a different one in, in the in vocab thing. Um, so these are all discussion questions we can do in class. Um, think about these and how would you answer, and how would you sign it? So when, if it comes up in class, we can address these things, and you've sort of you're not pulling it sort of out of thin air. What are the benefits for deaf people who live in the city versus in the country? Pros and cons. Um, condo, loft, they're all mostly just finger spelled. So think about what is it your pre what is your preference? Where do you want to live? Where do you like to live? Where have you had a bad experience somewhere? Think about how you would sign those things so that we can use them in the group discussion uh, when you come back. When we see you in class, <laughs> I should say. So that is 4.2. It's really a short lesson uh, and separately watch the, the video of the vocab and that will help. Um, I just didn't want to take the time in, the in this lecture so that you can sort of take it at the pace you want to take it.